Hi, this is Ellen with Hollywood.com here at the Man Bruin Theater in Westwood, California. To be or not to be popular is what Young Hollywood is here to ponder for the premiere of The In Crowd. What have you heard about this movie? Um, that from my brother that there are a lot of cute girls <laughs> having chick fights. That's like all I heard about this afternoon. Kirsten, there are like really hot girls and they're fighting, so... Now, now see, you're on a soap opera, so you're probably no stranger to the to the girl fighting, though. Have you had any brawls yet? You know, my character is 100% pure angel. So um, my friends have fought, you know, like my best friend will fight with the mean girl and stuff, and I stand by and watch, uh -huh. but I haven't actually had to fight. Now, now you play Belle, right? Yes, Belle Black. Okay, now I swear... A long time ago, <laughs> Belle was not that Six. long ago. No, she was in fact, an infant. Yeah, um, exactly a year ago. I've been on the show exactly a year to last week. Um, she was six years old. <laughs> Two weeks later, she's 16. So, um, you know, there's not much I can do to explain that except while her parents were on their honeymoon, she matured. It's it's the soap opera baby miracle that we see. Yes, soap opera rapid aging syndrome is what they call it. Oh, they have a name for this. Yes, it's like sore ass or something like that. <laughs> Did you have a regular high school experience? My oh, I had such an erratic high school experience. I wasn't allowed to go to my senior prom. I wasn't allowed to go to my winter formals. I wasn't even allowed to park on campus by the time my senior year rolled around. I was such a bad boy. I think I had more more truancies than I did attendance in school. But you know, I got by with the B average. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Now, who, was, cheating. <laughs> who was it that was preventing you from going to all these things? The principal. The principal. Yeah, it was like a slap on the hand because I was never in school. I was always at the donut shop or McDonald's or something. I don't know. Now, what was your high school's in crowd like? Have you read us at all? I wasn't in it. I don't know. <laughs> no ego blowing up here, you know. Not me. I hate ego. I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely the guy in LA going, <laughs> you know. I want who's next. Oh, it's it's this guy. Now, since you pretty much sort of been growing up on a soap opera, you didn't have a normal high school experience. Did you? No, I didn't. I went to high school for like six months, and it was a horrible experience. Terrible. Nothing I would wish on anyone. But I, you know, I mean, I, I really wasn't there a whole lot, so. So you don't miss it at all? No. <laughs> does this uh, bring Does this bring back any memories for you? That's a really good question. That's a really good question. You know, it reminds me of Hollywood a little bit. Because Hollywood is a bit of an in-crowd, you have to admit. Um, you know what? I, I've always found that the Hollywood, whether it's Hollywood or whether it's the in-crowd, it's always those people that have confidence in who they are and they're strong and, and where they come from, whether it's, it's, um, it's Beck doing his own crazy thing, uh -huh. that when he was in high school, don't tell me anyone ever thought of Beck as anything other than this weird kind of like loner like kid who is now on top of the world, you know? It's being who you are, it's being happy with who you are, loving yourself and being cool with it. That's it, that's the in crowd. <laughs> Megan and I, we had such a crazy time filming this thing. It was like what I was saying before when we were on a road trip, when we had to evacuate for the hurricane. And uh, we basically um, bonded, all of us bonded. And it got to the point where 15 hours in a van with somebody where you could actually pass gas and it was okay. And everybody was like, yeah, it's all right. See, it's shocking, but you spend 15 hours in a van with somebody. Let me tell you something. You'll be comfortable to have a little every once in a while, okay? <laughs> so you're laughing. Did you get her laughing? Did you get her laughing? See, she's like, yeah, she's getting she's getting This is too much information. <laughs> So are you in the in crowd or the out crowd in the movie? I'm in the in crowd. And is it really a privilege? No, it's not. Actually, it's not all it's cracked up to be. So, No, I mean, it looks like it from the outside, and that's what's so intriguing to everybody. But um, actually, it's a lot different on the inside, so, in the movie. I hear rumors that there are some girl fights in this movie. Are you part of any of them? No. Not physically, but... Um, I was always, uh, always maybe interested in the gossip. So maybe I started a few things, rumors, you know. Are you an in crowd person or an out crowd? I'm the out. You are the out. <laughs> I'm part of the out. Actually, it's me and AJ Buckley who plays Wayne, uh, mostly on the out, and Lori Hearing is also on the out until she goes to the in. I try to warn her. I try. It's, it's the other side. It's, it's the other side, movie. and you know, it's yeah. that so pull, that pull for the other side, that sin, that wanting of what you don't have. And she goes there. Yeah, see, 
Yeah. Now, your character does not desire to be in the in crowd? Nah. Uh-uh. Why no. not? Because it's everything that she detests, you know? It's the whole too much money, too much liquor, too much ex- excess, excess, excess. And, uh, you know, it's like Joanne has her feet on the ground. She knows what she wants. She knows what she's doing. She doesn't have time for any of that BS. Now tell me who you play. I play, um, I'm in, baby. In. I start out, then I get in, and then I kind of I kind of ride the line a little bit. I play Adrienne Williams. And she is um, a 19-year-old who spent the past couple years in a mental hospital. Yes, so the movie starts out with her getting getting out of the hospital. So she's kind of acclimating back to society, and then she meets the in crowd. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like part of the in crowd tonight. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you part of the in crowd? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and your point is? No. Oh, I'm very nice. I'm very joking. Nice. I'm joking. Are you in or are you out? Oh, I'm definitely in. I am the queen bee in. Oh, I bring you in. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So I hear that there's a girl that kind of comes in and she sort of makes her way in the in crowd. Yes, that would be Lori Hearing, and I bring her into the in crowd. What kind of a uh, school experience did you guys have in terms of Yes, you know, it happens everywhere. I kind of segued all the different groups because I was part of the cheerleaders, part of the drama club, and no one, you know, did both. So, <laughs> just with friends, I had friends in every different circle, and that's what's important, you know. You need to understand different people and just hang out and be yourself. I think when you compromise yourself for what crowd you hang out in, that's when you're in trouble.